Hi, my name is Sam Kusumara, and welcome to Electricity for Progress. Today, we're going to be exploring a biodata sonification system using MIDI and an iPhone with the GarageBand application. To begin, we have a biodata sonification system enclosed in a 3D printed enclosure with a 5-pin MIDI DIN jack on one side, a 3.5 millimeter input jack for our electrodes, and a knob with a switch. To begin with our setup, we're also going to need an iPhone or iPad, a USB to MIDI converter cable. Here I'm using an EMU MIDI one by one input. Uh, these are really, really great devices, and I've been using this one for a number of years. And then also, we need a way to connect the USB device to our iPhone or iPad. And so this is a connection cable from USB to the proprietary iPhone input, and it also has a pass-through to allow for charging while using the cable. To make all of our connections, I will plug into the bottom of the iPhone with our USB adapter cable. I will take the USB on the mini converter and plug it into the iPhone. Next, I'm going to plug the MIDI jack into our biodata system. So, our biodata device outputs MIDI. Musical notes will flow out. So, we want to use the MIDI in port on our system. So, MIDI out of the biodata system into your USB connector. And if you look, you can see the five pins are organized in a semicircle. And you just want to line up the pins from your connector and press it into place. We will not be using the MIDI output port uh, that also comes with these USB connectors. Next, we want to connect the 3.5 millimeter jack for our electrodes to the front of our biodata unit, and we are pretty much set. For the next step, we want to power on a biodata unit, and you should see a light show, which shows you that you look. The final test before we open up our iPhone and try to open up our applications is to test and make sure that we're getting signal through the biodata system. So take your fingers and press them against the electrodes, and we should see uh, everything light up. That means that your biodata system is producing MIDI. Next, let's open up our uh, iPhone or iPad, and using the GarageBand for iOS app, we're going to try and test our MIDI input from our biodata device. The first thing we're going to do is click on Create a New Song. And we need now to choose an instrument. Uh, I'm going to begin here with one of the world instruments. And this is a, a stringed instrument. And when you touch your screen, you can hear the sounds which the stringed instrument makes. Uh, next, I'm going to touch the electrodes on the biodata system and see if we can have MIDI stream in and play this stringed instrument. So you can see the lights uh, light up on the biodata system, and you can hear the sounds that are being played through MIDI uh, into GarageBand. I'm next going to record that MIDI data. So I'm going to turn off the metronome, because we don't need to listen to a tick. We're going to have the biodata play all of the music here. I'm going to pick up my electrodes, get them ready, and I will now hit the red record button and I will squeeze the electrodes, and you can again hear the MIDI data flowing into the iPhone, as well you can see the biodata system light up. I'm going to tap stop now, 
let go of the BioData's electrodes, and I will now show you that MIDI data which we recorded. Uh, you want to click on the second icon at the top here, second to the left, and it brings all of the different track uh, options that you can have in GarageBand. And you can see here all of the MIDI notes that have been captured and recorded. So if we hit the play button, it will now play back those MIDI notes which we recorded from touching the electrodes. There are also many other apps that can be used uh, with an iPhone or through a computer with a USB to MIDI connection or an Android phone, lots and lots of different options. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with you here is the MIDI Sprout application from Data Garden. When uh, we originally created the MIDI Sprout a couple of years ago, Data Garden continued and uh, produced this iOS application. And so if I touch the electrodes here, we send MIDI data into the iPhone and play it back through the uh, soothing sounds of the Data Garden app. Another really cool app that I like is the Animo, uh, where you can choose lots of different really cool sounds. Let's see, I'm going to go into the pads and try to put on the skyline pad here. And I touch the electrodes. And again, you can make really crazy sounds using the MIDI data from the Biodata system and sending it into one of these applications. Uh, the last application I'm going to share with you is called MIDI Wrench. And this is for those of you who are really interested in the MIDI data that you're capturing. What we do is uh, when the biodata system detects a change in electrical conductivity across these two probes, which is what happens when you squeeze them, uh, a MIDI event is produced, creating a musical note, and there's a corresponding LED light show that happens on the box. On the back end here, you're going to see musical notes produced. But we also have a thing called MIDI CC, which is a control channel, a change message, kind of like wiggling a little knob, fiddling uh, one of the knobs on a synthesizer. And this uses control CC 80 through MIDI. Now again, when I touch the electrodes, you're not going to hear anything. Oh, actually we do. We hear, I uh, suppose, one of the synthesizers in the background. You can see the LED light show on our biodata unit, and you can see the MIDI data scrolling through here. I'm going to let go of the trodes and just point out real quick. Here we see controller 80, so this is the CC controller, and we see the number vary here, which is the position of the knob as it turns. We also can see our note on and our uh, note off messages if we can scroll through. Uh, so that is an overview of some of the things that you can do using an iPhone or an iPad connected uh, to one of these biodata sonification systems using a USB to MIDI connector. One final thing to note is there are a variety of USB to MIDI connectors out there. Some of them are higher uh, quality than others. Many of them, if you find one that's $7 to $17, it probably will not work with every MIDI device. And sadly, uh, this biodata system that I have produced is, I guess, I don't know if it is sensitive or if the non-compliant cheap USB to MIDI devices are not compliant. You see that it works well with a really high-quality product like this Emu. Or if you have a larger USB MIDI controller keyboard for a music producer, that should also work very well. Uh, just stay away from the really cheap ones, and if you need any advice for uh, buying a USB to MIDI converter, uh, one of the converter connection kits to go into either an iPhone like this, an iPad, or to maybe even one of the old school 3GS iPhones or iPads with a 30-pin connector. There are some uh, older USB or MIDI to iOS connectors that are out there. Uh, and then you can also utilize this with an Android device uh, through one of their uh, USB OTG on-the-go kits. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching 
our video today about how to use your biodata sonification device uh, through USB MIDI with an iOS device in GarageBand. Have a great day.